بدونم این من این سخت لازم دنیا مرسی در سو مرچ It is what it is. Um, today I'm just gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere, but um, I just wanna do my makeup, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, a lot of my products have changed from um, the last time I made a video, so if you see new products, that's why. Um, I do not use the same thing that I used to use, but anyways, I'm just gonna go in with putting my primer on my eyes real quick and I have a couple topics I want to talk about today um, they're very like different topics but they're all what I want to talk about um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about first maybe life because I mean I haven't posted in a year or so, and so months so Definitely life has changed from um, the last time I posted. I definitely moved, as you can see in the background. Um, so I probably will be doing more videos, but they're not going to be makeup related like they always have been. Um, I will have some makeup here and there. The reason why this is makeup related is because I just want to do my makeup and talk and ramble about life and stuff. So that's why this one's a makeup tutorial not tutorial get ready with me um but yeah i moved um i think in the last video i still had um my job at that grocery store i was taught i always told you about told you guys about um i'm just looking through my palettes to see which ones i want to use i think i got a couple new ones from the last time i made a video i'm not gonna use those two I think it's just going to be one of the palettes I use, to be honest. Let me just real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use three of my palettes. But, um, so, what was I talking about? I got sidetracked. Um, oh, the grocery store. I was working at I stopped working there right now I'm currently doing I just dropped a lash one second you guys as I was saying right now I'm currently doing Dory Ash as a job um, I did work at a restaurant and that was it was not the best experience I've ever had but you know it's a restaurant so um, I can't really complain too too much about that um, it was a good experience and the pay was great but right now i just want to focus on myself and getting myself together and doordash is a not bad of a money-making thing i watch a lot of people on door i mean do doordash like on youtube and stuff so it's definitely not uncommon for someone to um be doing it uh i'm just gonna go into my palette real quick I'm going to use a lighter one actually. I was going to use a deeper one, but I usually start off with the lighter one. Okay. But anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now is DoorDash because I'm having some mental health issues and just like issues in general. So I just wanted to like take a break and cool myself off because I just don't know for sure about anything right now like what I want to do for a career um where I want my life to go like anything I don't know anything right now so I just want to take a break and just do DoorDash and figure whatever I want to figure out um out and um work from there so um lately what has been going on I'll just do you a little insight of my life right now I haven't been sleeping very much so if I'm like groggy or if I slur my words that's why 
I'm tired. <laughs> so um, I do get some sleep, but um, mostly I'm not sleeping all that much. So that is not great. And it's been happening for a couple months. I just, I don't know what's wrong, to be honest. I just can't sleep at night. Um, so that has been something that has been making me absolutely miserable because I mean, not getting enough sleep or not sleeping much is really tiring and it makes your mental health worse and I don't need that because it's already bad. So, um, it doesn't serve me not to sleep. Um, I tried melatonin yesterday at night. Um, it didn't really work all that well, but um, I'm gonna try it again and just take two because they're my sisters and they're five milligrams so um, for just one. So I'm gonna try to take two and see what happens then. But um, yeah, I have not been sleeping. But I mean, it's fine. All will work out. Um, and lately, I just feel like I don't want to do anything. It's like my brush is tinted green, but it's not green. I just, um, I just cleaned it with like one of those sponge things that I got like a while ago. That was thirteen dollars, my dad. It was thirteen dollars for this little. It's really messy, but this little thing with the cap was thirteen dollars. It was from. I got it from the Morphe store, which is where, there's one where I live in the mall, um, but it was definitely not worth $13, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> lately, I've just been feeling, I don't know, like, the whole thing where um, I don't really know what I want to do, like, for the future, like, I don't know where I want to go that's been bothering me and then like I don't know I doubt myself which um isn't good to do and I know that but um it's hard not to doubt yourself when things are like your depression's bad and things are not going well or you're not getting sleep it's hard to not doubt yourself um, and I've just been working through my mental health and illnesses and my trauma and everything. And it's been a roller coaster to say the least. It's definitely not easy when people tell you, um, they never told everyone I've listened to that said, um, whole like going on their journey to like self care and everything. They never say it's easy and it's definitely not. If somebody did, they probably would be lying unless they weren't going through all as much. I don't think that this is an easy thing to do. It's very hard, very lonely, and it's kind of makes you, make drives you crazy, kind of. Um, but in other news, I've started my spiritual journey, which is just like spiritual into myself and, you know, everything like that, which is nice. I haven't done much, but I've, um, took steps to do things um, but like I say it's hard to do want to do anything when you're depressed or you're just not wanting to get up or eat or sleep or anything to be honest um, but I still have tried to implement it into my life and I've been doing it slowly but surely and one second Um, and that's really all I have to talk about in that aspect of my life and what's going on there. Um, I have just been trying to meet new people and all of that just to like make memories and stuff. That's where I'm really wanting to do, but I just, um, I don't know. It's hard to like talk to people and things like that. Um, but I've been doing it, so it's not too, too hard. Sorry if I'm not talking that much. I'm trying to blend this out. 
um, definitely my makeup eyeshadow wise has gotten 100% better if you guys see my old videos that I'm keeping on my channel because somebody starts from somewhere and I mean it's just the raw of what it used to be um, so I like looking back at those videos and everything there's some videos that I did private because I just didn't like them personally but there's also a lot that I didn't um, so whatever if you want to deep dive through that you can um but what was i talking about oh my eyeshadow um it has gotten a lot better like um performance wise and like the things i use for my eyes and the pigmented pigmentation i mean and everything like that has gotten a huge amount better because um before it was not i mean it was okay and i still did like good makeup and it looked good but it wasn't like all that neat and it also had like a white casting because I used to use concealer I don't anymore give me a round of applause for that I don't use concealer anymore so um, I'm happy about that because it used to be very hard to clean up and it just didn't give me the look that I wanted it to give to be honest um, so I stopped using um, concealer. Just scoping this out. Everything looks messy now, but I promise in the end it looks good. I mean, that's usually how my makeup turns out. It's, <laughs> it looks messy in the beginning and then it turns out to look good. Okay. I'm going to be finishing up my room pretty soon, so I probably do a room tour. It's not all that interesting, but it is cute now. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do that. Um, I have a thing back here of the topics I want to talk about. So, let me just quickly look over there. Okay. YouTube drama. <laughs> I'm only going to talk about one person, a specific person. And that's because it shook me to the core. How does one person have so many people who hate them and um I don't want to say her name outright because I don't want to be like adding but you know the person who Joris Graceffa was talking about in the latest video and the person who his ex was talking about in his latest video so just look at that <laughs> and you'll know who I'm talking about I'm pretty sure once I said the words Jerry Crisefa, I, th I think you know um, who I'm talking about. I've been like seeing things about her like way before Jerry Crisefa even um, released his video because of the stuff that she did to Jesse, um, was also just as messed up as everyone else's, to be honest. So I just, I just don't understand how. She is so delusional, one, that's one, how she can, like, present herself like that, like she has uh, multiple times in the past, and how she's so rude, like, how are you such a rude person? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't be rude to anyone who's not being rude back to me, like, not back. Like, if somebody's being rude to me first, like, maybe I'll be rude to you. But sometimes I'm not even rude then. Um, so it's just kind of like, how can this one person be such a horrible person? Like, she's a horrible person. And I was just like, it just shook me to the core. Like, when I um, saw um, Joe Graceffa's ex, ex's video, I will put his name up if I remember, because I really don't know what his name is. Um, so that's why I'm saying Joey Graceff is ex, but he has a life of, um, of his own, and I don't want to be, like, rude. I just don't know what his name is. Um, so, yeah. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me how someone can be that rude. I didn't personally watch Escape the Night or, like, anything like that, because I think I was meaning to, but I just didn't. Um... So that's that. Um, but yeah, 
that was crazy and i want to know you guys' thoughts about um what was said in those those videos but if you just look about up her name on youtube or whatever you'll see a whole lot more of drama that she has done to other people so she's just not a good person if i'm gonna be honest i'm just doing this real quick Sorry, it takes me a lot of focus to do this and then now I'm going to use a glitter that is like the same one I just put on my eyes but instead it's just silver and I'm making this face because I'm trying to get it out of my little glitter thing. I used to do so many looks with these glitters and now I like I almost barely use them. But I do use them sometimes. It's just a lot of work getting this glitter off your face. So <laughs> that is why I barely use them. Um, let me see about what other topic I want to talk about. I don't have my glasses on, so work with me here. Social, social media um, is another topic. Um, TikTok, Instagram, everything like that. YouTube, even like everything um i just wanted to talk about that because i want to be i guess you can call it influencer but i don't want like i don't know i just want people to talk to and um i want to post videos and pictures and all that um which i will start doing more often so i'm gonna start doing it very seriously now um Put this um glitter glue on my eyes real quick I'll come back to talking um but yeah i want to do that i've been looking at so many people on ends i mean not no i haven't really been looking at people on instagram but i've been looking at a lot of people on tiktok i've been looking at a lot of people on um youtube and i follow some new people as well as like a lot of the old ones that i used to follow as well um but some new people i've been following is um they do like um the one person i'll put her name up she does um bad movies and a beat i like her a lot she um just talks about like the bad movies and breaks it down while she beats her face and i love it i also love a lot of the people who do their makeup and talk about true crime um i won't be doing that because doing my makeup is one thing and i'm always super hyper focused on it um and then talking about true crime i i couldn't like um battle the not battle with it but like multitask with it that's what i wanted to say um but i do want to do some true crime videos um speaking of true crime the menendez brothers how do you guys feel about that i just really want to know how you guys feel about the menendez brothers and i'm sorry if you hear my fan it's down here it's hot i cannot have it off <laughs> so if it's annoying you i'm so sorry um but how do you guys feel about the Menen Menendez brothers? Like honest, honest opinions. Do you guys think that they're lying? Do you guys think that um, they're telling the truth? Like what do you guys feel is going on with this situation? And do you feel like they should be out of jail? Like, honestly, do you guys feel like that? Because my thoughts on it, my opinions, and everything i feel like they were actually abused and i feel like they were actually scared for their lives it's not like very uncommon for people to like do what they did in that situation um and i feel really bad for them i do think they should have had some punishment but i don't think it should have been what it is now that's all I'm going to say about the situation because it's a little controversial, but I don't think that they should still be in jail. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think so. Um, 
and even like their family members believed that the stuff that was going on was going on i have um i haven't finished um the one document documentary from 2017 yet but um Maybe I'll post in like Twitter or Instagram or something like that how I feel once I see all of that. But right now, I've, I've looked at so many true crime accounts, um, like cover it that, and I've looked at some of the what is it, the court um, videos that are on um, YouTube that are like three, four, three or four hours long. I've looked at some of them. So, right now, I stand with um, that I believe them. And I believe that they shouldn't be in jail. But, you know, some, a lot of people feel the opposite way. So, I just want to know how you guys feel and why. Let's have a friendly debate. Friendly. Down below. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to add some yellow to this because I'm just feeling the yellow, to be honest. It is 4th of July, as you will be able to... No, I probably won't post this today because I might. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's 4th of July. Um, I don't celebrate 4th of July, but it is 4th of July. Um, and, yeah. Everyone is doing something, but I am staying in because... I want to. How was your guys' um, time during quarantine? Because mine was fine. None of my family, like immediate family that live in the house, um, have had it or anything like that. But, um,. It was definitely lonely and an eye-opener, and I took a lot from it, I will say that. Um, that's one of the big reasons I did leave that grocery store, because I just was realizing how bad I was treated and everything and I'll do a story time <laughs> about that grocery store I'm not gonna name any names if you know me you know what I'm talking about um, don't tell them <laughs> what who I'm talking about and the establishment I'm talking about uh, but definitely did not like my time there and one day I will talk about why I didn't like it okay I'm done anyways a lot has changed in the past um, year um i wear lashes now which i definitely did not used to do um a year ago i don't know when i started if i'm gonna be honest i always wanted to wear lashes i was just always scared that i was gonna mess it up um but i started and i am actually good at applying them and all of that and they make my makeup looks look so much better and I love them. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I bashed lashes before, but if I ever did, I'm so sorry I did because I love them. I don't know if I'm feeling this yellow, but it's already on my eye. And maybe when I do my like eyeliner and stuff, it'll get better. But anyways, um, I think I'm gonna do my eyeliner now. And then I do my lashes last so I can like get through because I'm doing a full face so I'm gonna do like my face makeup. Now the only thing that hasn't really changed um, is the eyeliner I used. I don't know which one I was using a year ago but I'm almost positive that it was this. I always um, go back to this one. As you can see I have two um, because I love them so much. I, I, um, one time I ended up getting, like, the thinnest one, and I hated it so much because it was such a pain to apply, and it was so much harder, um, but I love this one specifically. This is my favorite eyeliner. 
other than the um beauty bakery eyeliner i really like that one as well but that lasted like a week 22 dollars last a week not because of the product itself but because the cap fell off and it dried off i cannot talk when i'm doing this eyeliner so i'm gonna fast forward it that looks straight enough to me <laughs> i don't, can't be bothered to do anymore honestly um but um going back to that i want like a following i just want like a family it doesn't have to be big it could be small like a family i could talk to you guys can talk to me and we just bond and vibe and i just want that i always have i just you know sometimes working and like trying to do like youtube or whatever isn't like what you um isn't easy especially like uploading videos and editing them and the whole shebang i do my um eyebrows differently as you can see they're cut off i didn't cut them i need to cut them shorter to be honest but i'll do that um when the video ends i'm gonna do my foundation routine which is let me just show you i'm gonna show you the products for these ones because the last time you guys saw me, I didn't do foundation or really like anything in that area, to be honest. Um, I'm going to take this off, though. Wait, I'm just going to move it back so it gets on my forehead and it doesn't look bad when I take the scarf off. I'm going to put some um, face primer on, though. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and it's okay like it's not the best thing in the world but it's okay i really don't have anything that i can compare it to so i'm just gonna say it's okay and i usually spritz some um finishing just over here on my face um i'm gonna do it from over here and then do this because i don't want my eye makeup to go away and i'm gonna dip one more time two more times into the putty and then go like that. I'm going to pat it in my face. Okay. And then I start with my foundation, which isn't foundation, it's concealer. Because the foundation I have is this one, and I use it, but um, I really only use it sometimes. I like it it's in the, my shade i just like how this looks better now this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in rich cocoa and i love it i love it so much it's my favorite concealer i have ever bought and it's really cheap i forgot how much it was but it's really cheap and i just put this all over my face But I have some stuff on TikTok now, videos, they're kind of cringy because I don't know how to do transitions and stuff like that yet, but I want to get better at them. Um, I've been watching a lot of movies, sorry I was checking up there again, so if you see me looking up there at all, I'm not truly off, it's just because I'm checking to see what topics I wanted to talk about. Um, but I've been watching lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of movies. Um, and I have liked some of them. A lot of them I did not like. Um, I just recently watched Boss Baby Back in Business. Or, yeah, the second one. Whatever the second one's name is, I watched that one. Um, I liked it. It was cute. I liked the premise of it and everything. 
and then you guys I go in with this it's not a makeup tutorial but like I said the last time um I made a video I I don't think I did foundation or if I did I don't think it was these products and then I go in with this right here right here right here right here I, I put this more places, but I'm only doing my eyes right now, so that's why I'm doing it right here. Hopefully you guys can see, because this is get ready with me. Trust the process. It might look a little weird right now, but trust the process. I promise it turns out good. And then I go in with the LA Girl. I think this is the darkest or the second darkest, but I'm, I am believing that this is the darkest. And I go, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more out. It's too much, oh well. I go all the way up here. No, it doesn't always turn up on my cheeks, but I try my hardest to make it. And then I actually don't use the beauty blender for this one. I use a brush. I think this is no, that's a brush. I use this brush. Um, I use this brush. I just, but um, yeah, I'm glad I can catch you guys up on everything and how I'm doing. Um, how are you guys doing actually? I want to know how you guys are doing and how you guys are feeling. I missed a spot on my nose. I usually do it right here too. How you guys are feeling how's school how's work how's everything i want to know um have you guys seen the um zendaya and tom holland thing have you guys and are you guys excited and do you guys believe it because i've seen a lot of people say that it's not true and they're not they're just trolling but i feel like they're definitely not trolling like it's definitely true I feel like it's definitely true and I'm happy for them to be honest they're the cutest freaking couple and I've been waiting since this first spider-man has come out so I'm quite happy about that now I put too much over here but it's fine it's gonna blend out either way The way I do my um blush is gonna make it not be so harsh. Harsh. And then I'm gonna pat it in there just a little bit. I only use the bottom of it, the beauty blender, for like if I put too much on my face. Um so yeah, I watched Box, Boss Baby back in business. Um, I've watched, um, what else have I watched? Luca. Luca's on um, Disney Plus. That was a cute movie. I loved it. Um, I forgot what the name of the one I watched that was also on Disney Plus. Dorea. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's what I'm talking about. That was, you know, I have mixed emotion about that one. Um, I like it, but then again, I don't. Um, I'm going in right now with my Fenty Beauty powder. Um, I don't know what the shade is yet because I opened the package, um, but I'll tell you guys once um, I... I'm done with it. I'm 
usually put more under my eyes than I do anywhere else. Got that set for like a little bit. Oh, let me tell you guys the shade. Nutmeg. The shade Nutmeg. And then actually I forgot to highlight my nose. Usually you just blend this in from my with my hand because I'll have a brush small enough to blend it in. I go in with the beauty builder once again. And then after a few minutes is up, because that was enough for the few minutes. I take this big brush and I wipe away, wipe away, wipe away, wipe away. Okay, so that's my foundation and concealer routine. Um, let me, I also do blush, I always do blush. Blush is like a must have for me. I'm just making sure that uh, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first because I put blush all up the top. So literally, I don't even do my eyebrows. I just shape them how I want to shape them. And that's it. I have to cut the tail off because this is not how I usually do my eyebrows. I'm cut it them off really quickly. Okay, anyways. So, just brush them. I do have like eyebrow gel. I just don't use it because I mean like, the only reason why I bought the eyebrow gel is because when my tails are off, I, I always cut my tails off. Um, I used to like sometimes have a full eyebrow, but now I, I really don't care. <laughs> I like how it looks now. I just need to cut this one more, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess my makeup up. This is a brush I use for my, for my blush. Um, I'm going to talk about body issues. Um, I have quite a bit of body issues and um, I perceive myself differently than other people perceive me. So, um, I feel that I am bigger than what I am when in fact I am not, but I'm perceiving myself to be that way because, um, that's how I see myself. Um, and body issues have always been, like, an issue with me since I was, like, younger. I always felt like I was so freaking big and I wasn't like I used to, I, I look at um photos and videos of how I used to look and I'm like how did you think you were big like you were barely anything you were so anorexic because you thought you were big like what girl no but I've been trying to get better with that and everything but it's definitely a struggle day to day on a day to day basis but I'm trying and that's all that matters I'm gonna do highlighter now because I just did my blush as you can see I think I like it do my nose with my finger like just this part of my nose with my finger and I use a brush for the rest I 
like I did that uneven. I love this highlighter so much and honestly I don't know it's wet and wild don't know where I got it from but it's wet and wild it looks like this it's the shade highlighter illuminate tricks illuminate tricks yeah flash me I think that's what the name is flash me yeah that's the name flash me i do know that i eventually want to i'm sorry i'm going everywhere it's the adhd um i do know though um that i want to go into doing my own business i'm not sure what yet but i definitely want to go into doing my own business um either resin vet resin um or I'm sorry if I'm looking now, I'm trying to clean my lashes. Um, either resin art or um, jewelry. Um, I would probably do lip gloss, but um, it wouldn't be like the main focus of the, um, of the business. So I would do it just like for like add-ons to make it bigger or like clothes or what. I don't know what I wanna do at this point, but I've been looking up like more ideas and everything. Oh, those are dirty. Um, more ideas and everything. So I definitely am going to do something soon. Um, I've been doing investing lately. It's been going okay nothing too serious but it's been going okay honestly i hope you guys love the video and subscribe and like and comment i want to hear your guys opinions and everything i asked you i really 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 do especially the mendez brother thing um so i hope you guys have the rest of the time the rest of your night or the rest of your day i hope it goes well and is great bye guys Mwah.